Hey John from FatSox here. In this video I'm going to go over media.net, uh, I call it a review, and I'm going to include uh, three tips to getting to $400 a day, which is what I'm doing right now in one niche blog uh, with media.net ads. So media.net ads are uh, much like uh, AdSense, although they look different, uh, but they are basically advertisers are, are bidding for uh, spots on there and you get paid when an ad is clicked and uh, you know you basically embed the code much like you would with AdSense so it's, it's, it's nothing really new but uh, the ads do look different they look like uh, menu navigation bars now the one difference is this is when they click when a visitor clicks an ad and it looks like a menu navigation bar you don't get paid at that point the the visitor is then taken to a second page what I call landing page with a lot of links and those links will once once a visitor clicks one of those links that's going to result in you generating revenue so here we are here's a fairly recent let's see uh, november 18 it did uh, 400 dollars a day right now i do anywhere from like 350 i think uh, record was like 475 in a given day so it goes up and down and it depends largely on on the page views for the particular day all right so really it's all about page views and that's what a lot of uh, fat stacks blog is all about for niche websites and earning with display ads so next I, I'm going to just show you the uh, type of ads, what they look at, look, look like with media.net. So I'm in uh, media.net uh, dashboard here and really you, you, the design is quite a bit more uh, different than AdSense obviously. They're more involved, there's more, they're more graphic, you get a lot of options, you get some different sizes too. I'll tell you what really works well for me, the 650 by 250 and there's a 300 by 600 somewhere right here okay a vertical 300 600 that does really well too adsense is one of those but they don't have a 600 by 250 which is just really great for you know at the bottom of content or in content so those are good looking ads now here's what they look like okay you can totally customize all the colors the font everything for your different boxes so uh, you know, lots of customization. You can really make them look good. Uh, we can just keep going, and they get quite simple over here. I prefer the, the these types have done uh, better for me. And you got full color customization for everyone that you choose. So you can change this up. So if you're going to do a like a 600 by 250, you can go one style and create a 300 by 600 and go with a different style whatever you can customize the colors to look like your site or contrast a lot with your site colors and as you can see they've got some default sort of uh, color schemes that you can go with or you can completely customize everything you can customize uh, uh, you know the fonts and the, and the color and everything else so and then we also have some advanced options dealing with mobile ads and um, uh, aggressive aggressive level and so forth so uh, lots of customization they're really easy to set up once you get a code then you just uh, embed that wherever you go into place your ads you can also get if you have a SSL certificate like I do on one of my niche sites you can ask your customer rep to give you uh, an SSL compliant code you'll need to get they'll have to make that for you so you know and that, and that brings me to a point you get a customer rep with media.net you do have to apply to be accepted but once you are you're gonna get a rep and they're really helpful and they get back to you like in like within 12 hours with lots of tips the suggestions made by my rep has probably resulted in doubling my revenue over the months I've done a lot of testing and so forth but they've made a lot of good suggestions and I implement them and they really work so they know what they're doing so listen to your rep work with your rep and that'll, that'll be a huge advantage to you so next up let's go into some of the tips uh, that I use that has helped me out to really go up you know when I started obviously I had fewer page views but I was doing like 100 a day 120 a day and I've just slowly optimized that up to now over 400 per day so you know you just got to work at it and, and with media.net you can really really make some good revenue also I want to keep in mind I want to let you know that I use media.net in addition to AdSense uh, it's not for me an alternative I'm using AdSense and media.net on my site so here I'm going to rip through a few uh, valuable tips that I've 
learned that has helped me a lot with uh, generating increasing my revenue. I already touched on it, the customized landing page. So when the visitor clicks the ad, you want to bring them to a customized landing page. And what do I mean by that? I mean that it looks like your site, that it has your logo at the top, that the color schemes and the hyperlink colors are the same as what's found on the rest of your site. When I did that, that dramatically increased my revenue just from that one little change. So you definitely want to do that. Just ask your rep to do that for you and they'll customize it. The second point I want to make, and this this is by far the best tip I could give you. Use a sticky sidebar. You can use the uh, Q2W3 widget. I have a post on my site dedicated to that, to how to set it up. Here we are. It's uh, this this alone with the one. It, basically, what it does it creates a sticky widget, uh, sticky sidebar zone in your website, and that one ad in the last 30 days has generated over four thousand dollars US uh, in in profit for me so I have a whole I have a whole video on it and I have uh, I set out uh, exactly how to install it it's a free plugin I definitely recommend you use that you cannot put AdSense in a sticky zone but you can put media.net ads in there so definitely do so it's really worth it and finally the ad sizes now you always want to test I've tried pretty much all the ad sizes on my site in many many different places uh, I found for me the 600 by 250 at the bottom of content works well and then the 300 by 600 in the sidebar works really well and uh, you know you're gonna obviously have to test different designs there's so many variables so it's a lot of testing listen to your customer rep but these three tips of pretty much resulted in me really being able to go from like a hundred hundred twenty five dollars a day with with the ads over you know having four hundred four hundred four fifty dollar days with media.net which is great that's five figures a month just from media it's not counting my adsense revenue and, and and affiliate commissions and so forth and that's one blog so uh, you know that's really the tip of the iceberg I actually have a, f a full free report it's uh, fairly in-depth lots of screenshots it's called uh, basically I call it the uh, display ad secrets and uh, right now I'm doing over a hundred thousand revenue a month from display ads from one niche blog so check it out there's a link here that, that you can click and it'll take you to it and you can sign up for it so just sign up it's an instant download it's a good report I check it out there's a lot more details about how I you know I even I even show you the exact design that I'm using for media.net ads uh, which and I've tested lots of color schemes on my site and this one uh, was one that just blew everything out of the water in terms of just how the ad appears.